Hi, my name is Dr. Courtney McCall and I'm super excited to be joining the team of eye care professionals at Hazleton, Pottsville, Nanticoke, and Stroudsburg Eye Specialists. You will also see me here on Eye on the Poconos as we begin our fifth year of supporting local small businesses in the Pocono Mountains. This month, we visit a beautiful and peaceful setting at Paradise Lavender Farm in Cresco. You can see by the different colors that we have different varieties of lavender growing. I started the lavender farm six years ago. I had retired from teaching and worked at my family nursery, Ross and Ross, which happens to be right across the street. I was gifted the land by a dear friend and teaching partner, and I wanted to do something to honor her and my grandfather who grew herbs, so I thought I'll grow lavender. And she loved purple. Today I have like 550 plants, and these plants are five, six years old, some of this row. It's beautiful. It's dear resistant. They don't like the taste. It is a perennial. It's low maintenance except when it's harvest time and weeding around it. It's actually from the mint family. People love the smell. It's very popular now in foods. We have lavender ice cream, lavender honey, syrup, jelly, you name it. People put lavender in. Shortly we'll be having you cut it where you cut your own lavender. The buds have opened up and turned into a flower. So that's definitely ready to pick. And we have people fill this up with lavender and then rubber band it, and then you hang it upside down to dry. If you put it in water, it will only last three days. Okay. So drying it is the most useful. We do have buds for culinary, which you can make your own, like lavender lemonade. People use it as like a potpourri. We make eye pillows, uh, all kinds of neck wraps. Uh, There's a lot you can do with it. We have a lot of classes. We paint mason jars, wine glasses. We have goat yoga come. We are having a tea party in July. In addition to the classes, we rent our tenant area for birthday parties and the gazebo we rent for the tea parties. And then we have an enchanted forest. This is Uccello, fairy of the birds. And then we have a bird's nest that you can crawl into. So you get a feather to put in your little bag and take home. That's cute. The Enchanted Forest takes you through a path in the woods and there are fairies and gnomes and activities to do. Count how many gnomes you see and... I'm up for the challenge. There you make a wish. Okay, so I'm gonna be making a wish. Hopefully it comes true. Who is this? To Willow, the fairy of the wishing well. And I'll let you know if it comes true. <laughs> if it comes true, I'm coming back here forever. <laughs> I've had a couple times girls come by themselves with their selfie self stick. And then here you write your name on a rock and put it in the heart. They put the date on it. You can come back and be like, where's my rock? I've changed to grass. I like the look better, the smell and the feeling of calm. You see something of beauty growing and it is calming. I mean, it's so serene even just standing here, the way it looks, it just makes me feel like it's spring and summer. And it's crazy, the bees, they don't even bother you. They're worried about the lavender, they don't care about us. No, they love the lavender. April through early October is our season and Thursday through Sunday, typically. Peak season usually is around the 4th of July and it blooms depending on the variety just for a couple weeks and then we harvest it. I was born and raised here and it's part of me. It's wonderful to take home and have that memory. Thank you for joining me for my first Eye on the Poconos. Don't forget to visit our great team at Stroudsburg Eye Specialists for an eye exam real soon. We are located right behind Friendlies in Tannersville. I look forward to seeing you on the next Eye on the Poconos.